gonadal activity in the cow is controlled by the hypothalamus and the adenohypophysis. The hypothalamus located at the base of the brain secretes GnRH or gonadotropin releasing hormone, which stimulates the production and release of FSH and LH by adenohypophysis. These hormones act on the ovary as follows. The FSH or follicle stimulating hormone stimulates the growth and maturation of follicles that are in the ovary. The LH or luteinizing hormone is responsible for both the last stage of maturity of the follicle that has become dominant and its ovulation. This dominant follicle prior to ovulation is responsible for almost all the secretion of estrogen in the ovary, specifically estradiol. This hormone is responsible for expressing sexual behavior in the female when acting on the central nervous system so that the animal manifests the behaviors characteristic of being in heat or estrus, indicating that the cow is ready to conceive. In domestic animals, heat generally coincides with ovulation, since high concentrations of estradiol cause a stimulation of the hypothalamus and pituitary gland, causing GnRH levels to increase but its stimulation towards LH production is much greater, since in parallel with this, a hormone called inhibin, secreted by the granulosa cells of the growing follicle, inhibits FSH without altering LH. In this way, with the help of inhibin, the estrogens favor the peak of LH. That will cause follicular rupture and its ovulation. Estrogens also act on the uterus, causing changes that favor the transport of spermatozoa. Once the ovulation was given in the area where the follicle was, capillaries were broken, causing these remains to fill with blood, forming a clot called corpus luteum hemorrhagic. By action of the hormone LH, this clot becomes a yellow body or a corpus luteum. This is responsible for the production of progesterone. This hormone has a negative feedback effect on the hypothalamus, since it suppresses the release of GnRH and therefore decreases the levels of FSH and LH, avoiding new ovulations. Progesterone also has an influence on the mucous membrane of the uterus, preparing it to receive an embryo and to maintain or nourish it during the first days of gestation. If the cow is not pregnant at 17 days after estrus, if there is no embryonic recognition, the uterus produces PGF2 alpha. This hormone produces the regression or destruction of corpus luteum a process known as luteolysis. This causes a white body called corpus albicans, which is not functional, which decreases the levels of progesterone, which causes its negative feedback to be withdrawn, allowing the hypothalamus to begin its production of GnRH again, and therefore FSH and LH, stimulating follicular growth again. The ovulation and a new sexual cycle begins.